Hey, this video is all about uh, using bark from trees for uh, tinder. So, uh, I have a piece of alder right here that I found, a dead piece, in amongst these willows. And what you're looking for in all this bark is uh, take the uh, outer layer off and then what they call the cambium layer usually underneath is uh, going to be the bark that you're going to need for the tinder and of course it needs to be dry and if it isn't you can harvest it still and then uh, go ahead and uh, dry it out but uh, you want the nice fiber thin papery type stuff and uh, this is alder and uh, it's a little dark uh, you can kind of tell the difference between it and some of the other ones I'll show you uh, poplar in a few minutes here and willow but uh, this alder is uh, good stuff. You just got to get uh, some nice dry stuff and uh, harvest it. Here we go. There's some nice fibers there. You pull those apart. Sometimes you get really long stuff. And later in the video, I'll show you examples of the different nests. But uh, this is uh, alder. And, uh, Okay, and down where some willow is, close to the trees here, and again, uh, trying to find some nice uh, dry stuff, and you take and uh, kind of, if you break the bark, and then you can peel back the, uh, the thin layer that is in the bark, and almost any tree, it will work that way. And this is the willow. And this is a nice dead limb here. And uh, you got the outer bark and then uh, the inner bark right here. And if you keep peeling, and some of this takes a little bit of time. It's not something that you can get right away. You start separating it. Um, it'll usually break apart better. And this is not being real helpful here, but I am getting some pieces here. And of course, uh, you have to look for dead stuff. The green stuff is not going to give you anything good right away. And I'm taking a long time in this video just getting this plant right here, but let's see if I can get nice long pieces like this. And it's nice and dry. Break it a little bit and then pull that cambium layer out and then separate it. And you'll get your uh, pieces that way. This is a better piece here. Nice long stuff. Just pull it like that. Separate them. And you keep separating them until you get uh, a bunch of it, of course. But this is willow. And uh, we'll try it. I haven't tried willow for a tender nest. I've tried poplar, alder, juniper. They all work really well. But we'll try try uh, willow as well. So I really lucked on a bunch of good willow uh, back in in here. A lot of it, so I can process that. And it's uh, hanging in there pretty dead. It's a bunch of dead stuff, and I just lucked upon it to just hanging loose. So that's a good bunch of willow that I got, and. Uh, I'll process that up and uh, use it later. Well, I came across another good store. Uh, some of this poplar bark that uh, limbs that have fell and died, and uh, they're laying here, so I'm going to harvest some of it. It is great. And uh, so I got the poplar and the willow back there. That this is really a nice find. 
See how it's all stringy and it's going to be nice to process. A little bit of it's damp, but uh, oh, that's, that's super stuff. And the big old poplar trees right next to it here, going way up. So uh, that's poplar. And in my bag over here, I just got that willow. So I got two of them right now. Well, I decided to sit here by the river and start processing this stuff. Here's the uh, poplar, and in the bag I got the willow. So that's going to take a while, but uh, got the blackbirds in the background here and some geese down the river further. So uh, I'll be making nests with this and uh, show the result later. But uh, great stuff. You hear the old blackbirds. And I got the old cattails behind me there. So anyway, stay tuned. Okay, I got my uh, poplar bark all done for one nest. I had gobs of the stuff left, but uh, I got it down into pretty fine stuff. And uh, what you can do is uh, ball it up like I am and squeeze it real hard and break down the fibers just that much more. And uh, since some of this was a little damp, I'm going to wait a day probably and then uh, try it. But a uh, beautiful nest there. And uh, you get little pieces of shavings you can put in there. This, uh, all your nests should be able to hold the coal. And uh, when you blow in into your nest, uh, become flame after a while. Uh, whatever coal, like from a... Uh, bow drill or whatever, uh, it should work that well. And of course, it can work easier with a fire steel or something like that, but uh, if it's a good tinder nest, it'll work with this to coal as well, with flint and steel or something of that sort. But anyway, that's the poplar nest. Next, I'm going to work, oh, I got it in the bag here, my uh, willow. So I'm going to work on the willow next. Okay, I got my willow done, and it's not as good. It's uh, a little bit too thick in places, and uh, just not as nice looking as the uh, poplar. But uh, we'll try it. Let it dry out. It's uh, a little bit more moist than the uh, poplar, even. But uh, harder to find little hairy stuff with it. And the pieces I got. You have to break down the uh, pieces into as narrow as you can. And uh, so we'll try it though. So there's uh, poplar, I mean, excuse me, poplar and willow. Willow's the darker one here. And uh, I definitely know the poplar's going to work. And I'm going to bag up the, what I can of the poplar and take it with me. And we'll try the willow as well. Going to look for juniper next. So I got this bird's nest, a real one, out of the, it's an old band in the nest, looks like a blackbird, probably, robin, but this is a real bird's nest, and you can see how they're put together, we got some leaves in the center, and, uh, and then some grass down, real fine stuff in the bottom, so this is what you want to make, and then they used uh, some mud, and uh, a dirt and uh, packed it in really nice so it's nice and round so that's a real bird's nest what I'm going to do next though is uh, get some juniper here and show you how to uh, use it for uh, tinder and this feels a little cool and so that means it's a little wet but what you really want to do is start taking it apart and especially juniper and you get it to the point where let's see if I can zoom in here you get it in this form right here where it's really papery 
thin and you just start pulling it apart and get it into tinier, narrower pieces. And so that's what I'll be doing with this juniper and making a nice nest with it as well. So stay tuned. Okay, I got my <coughs> juniper bundle. It's mostly little pieces, but it's really soft and nice, uh, nicely broken up. And so it'll make a nice little bundle. Uh, it'll probably be one where I'll have to put it inside to something else since there's so many little short pieces. But it's really fine and really soft, and uh, it's going to make a nice uh, tinder bundle. So that's juniper. Okay, here's some sage. Uh, they cleared out of the way for the trail. And sage is a lot like juniper in its bark, and uh, that you have to do about the same thing with it. And uh, I want to harvest some of it. It's a nice, uh, nice stuff from it though, and it's nice and thin as well if you work it right. So I'll get some of this sage, pretty gnarly stuff, uh, and get the, the nice dry pieces. Here's some in here, and use it for a tinder bundle as well. But. Uh, Make it paper smooth too, or uh, thin, and you'll have good uh, tinder bundles. So I'll get some pieces off of this sage for another tinder bundle. Now here's the completed sage nest. It's uh, not broken down quite all the way, maybe, but it's going to make a nice tinder bundle as well. Made out of this uh, old piece of sage right there. So we'll try it later. So I did find some alder that uh, I can harvest, uh, and it's really dark stuff and uh, real wiry kind of a type of bark. But uh, I've used alder before, and it works really well. You got part of this papery stuff that uh, won't work, but the inside part where uh, it breaks apart and is real hairy, like that stuff there, break it apart and it'll make a nice uh, tinder nest. So I did find some alder and I'll use this for the alder nest. I got it from this tree that uh, fell down a number of years ago it looks like and uh, has the uh, dried bark on it and I'm just going to collect the, uh, the real hairy part. If it's stiff, I won't take it. Like this is uh, really stiff, and you can't get any good uh, fine stuff from it. But pieces like this you can, where it's uh, really uh, broken down and dead. And I'll break all that up more. It, uh, this is good stuff here. So I'll use this for my alder's nest. That's the uh, alder, and I'll break it down more.